it's Monday. That means it's time for Mondays with the DA. And it's also a new month, October. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and local organizations are highlighting the resources and services they offer to support victims. Joining me now is Katie Beth McCarthy, Executive Director of the One Place Family Justice Center. Thank you so much, as always, for joining Thank us you. here on Alabama Life. You're wearing your purple. Yes for yes. Domestic Violence mm -hmm. Awareness Month. What are some signs? What are things people need to look out for year round, but especially this month? Yes, so um, October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and this is the time that we want to be spreading the word about domestic violence and the, the um, victimization that we see here in our community. And so um, it's also the time that we like to tell our community what to look out for in the signs. And so for us, I think it is um, it, a lot of times it's not just the physical abuse and the symptoms of physical abuse that we see, but it's also withdrawing from family members. It's withdrawing from, from daily activities. It's um, really just being having extra anxiety. Um, there's just a lot of different um, signs and symptoms that go into um, that domestic violence victims experience. And so I think that when you are around um, people that might need help, you really have to um, really be observant, um, really be willing to ask hard questions and to know where to go for help and we want to be one of the organizations that help. If you have a friend who maybe you suspected was in a domestic violence situation in mm -hmm. an abusive relationship and maybe they are withdrawn you haven't talked to them for some weeks months yes. how can you reach out to them how do you start that conversation? I think that it involves communicating and it involves being honest and sometimes that's hard. And so I think that it just is one of those things where you have to have courage, you have to be courageous and you have to say, I'm concerned about you. And you have to um, do it in an open and honest way. And I think that that's the main thing is just starting, just to, just to be willing to overcome some of those fears and to make sure that that person feels safe, to, to start it from a conversation of, I want you to be safe I want you to be healthy and happy and I want to do if there's anything that I can do I want to do everything I can to help and so I think that's probably the best first start is to really try to make sure that you are being vulnerable with them and that they know that you are a safe place Talk about the resources you offer to provide these families a safe space. Yes, so safety is really our, one of our number one goals. Um, people come to us in crisis, and it is very important for us that when they walk through our doors, that we are responding to that crisis, but that we are also responding to the to the vulnerability and the victimization that they've experienced. And so we have intake specialists, we have case managers, we are co-located with the Family Justice Unit of the Montgomery Police Department. We have um, attorneys that are on staff through Legal Services Alabama, and we just provide a plethora of services for victims that are in crisis. And where can people go to reach out to you all for more information? Yes, one place, uh, excuse me, oneplacefjc.org is our website. Um, and then also they can look us up online and call us, email us anytime at all. Um, I, we are going to be having certain events um, this month that are going to be specifically um, targeted towards raising awareness. We've got a meet and greet tomorrow night at Hilltop Public House for anyone that wants to be a volunteer. Um, wear Purple Thursday is October the 19th. We're going to be wearing purple all month, but <laughs> we invite everyone to wear purple on October the 19th. We'll be at all of the college campuses locally this month trying to raise awareness. We're going to be at a booth at the fair. Because teens and young people experience this too. Oh, very much so. 18 to 25 is the highest um, age range that experiences domestic violence or intimate partner violence. Violence, and so we want to make sure we're on the college campuses raising awareness as much as possible. Thanks so much for joining Thank us. You. And I know you all be wearing purple all month. Remind us again of the day you want everyone else to wear purple. It's October the 19th. October the 19th. Mm -hmm. All right.